So play the clip and after that, we'll chop it up. Wow, with Tyler Perry. Love that you never allowed that criticism to stop you from being able to have your authentic voice as an artist because it does get really difficult. Yeah, but what? No, 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 no. You got to drown all of that out because if you let somebody talk you out of a place that God has put you in, you are going to find yourself in hell. I, I know for Ooh. a fact that what I'm doing is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing because for everyone who is a critic, I have thousands of, of used to be uh, emails from people saying, this changed my life. Oh my God, you know me. Oh my God, you saw me. How did you know this about my life, my Man. family? So, so that is what is important to me. We're, we're talking a large, a large portion of my fans who are disenfranchised, who, who, who cannot right. get in the Volvo and go to therapy on the weekend. That's so right. you've got this highbrow Negro who is all up in the air with his nose up <laughs> looking at everything. And then you got people like where I come from and me who are grinders, who really know what it's like, whose mothers and were caregivers for white kids and were maids and housekeepers yeah. and all of these beauticians that don't, don't discount these people and say that they're story don't matter who do you, who are you to be able to say which black story is important or should be told get out here with that boy yes yes and that is yeah. what we come up against it's like you yeah. said the respectability hey, politics that we're always pushing up against which at the end of the day what we are facing and what we are oppressed again it doesn't matter how well you speak it doesn't matter how well you walk it doesn't matter how well you do anything if somebody's going to not like you they're going to not like you period right. so holding ourselves to these unbelievable standards that stop us from being able to tell our true stories and connect to one another it only like you said puts us in a personal hell and doesn't allow us to really be all that we're meant to be because we're too busy trying right. to fit into somebody else's idea listen what i always say is don't worry about being in somebody's box because when you die they're going to put you in one so you may as well just live your life outside of a box Ooh, i love that <laughs> you've never allowed that criticism that. to That's stop you from being able to have your authentic voice as an artist because it does get really difficult yeah but what no 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 you got to drown all of that out because if you let somebody talk uh, that was powerful though Paul, go ahead, Joy. You yeah, so like I said, like I said, we definitely respect Tyler Perry. You know, he, you know, he, he's a billion. Well, the movie he's made, he made a billion. He made he made a billion dollars. You know, you know, at the time I did like, I, you know, I'm started off. You know, I'm started off uh, with Tyler Perry. I, I respect him as a, as, a, as a director. I respect on how he made billions of dollars of what he did for the black community, and not just that, also paying. You know. Black actors, what they're supposed to be paid, because if you come to Hollywood, they really don't do that. So I'm gonna give all the credit in the world and all like that. But that being said, you know, I, you know, back when I was, you know, my twenties and and you know, my teenagers, you know, I, you know, I used to do like I did like Tyler Perry movies because you know, it's it that it was definitely relatable. You know, this is definitely what you see if you live in a in a, in a hood or you know some type of black community, not just in the hood, but in a in a middle class or high class black communities. So what could go around in you know in a black community as well uh and you know and like i say it was funny it was comedy it was sad and all that type of things but you know as i get older and everything and you, and, you, and you keep doing the same thing you know it's to for, especially for me it's, it's like you know you know i want to see something different you know what i'm saying you know i want to see something you know something you know see more action some some see some more actions you know see it maybe a super superhero move a superhero type of a uh, black uh, community or family or or you know see something you know that's not really you know negative in a way or if you do that see the negative have a negative or have like a medium in 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 your movies you know i just feel like sometimes with tom perry's movies you know that's still or also not tom perry movies or his shows as well it's, it's like it's, it's always an attack you know between you know the black man or or a black man going out of the black woman going out and everything and for me it's like you know for me i'm for me i'm i'm more of tired of seeing it now and i you know i definitely and it, to me i don't really don't watch you know talk her like i used to because you know i'm just tired of seeing the negative of what's going on i'm not saying you know it's not true it does happen and everything but i just feel like you know um him as a black actor you know he made billions of dollars you know he has his movie studios and everything you know might not you know change somewhere different you know well i'm not saying trying to say do but see try something new and see have a and have like a positive image for 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 for, for black for black men black women and black families instead of showing negative things you know I, I get that it makes some money you know i guess that you know you know it you know it, he is there a certain type of crowd that likes his likes his things which you know at the time i did as well 
But, you know, you know, if you look at, you know, other um, uh, black directors, you know, John Singleton at the time, you know, the reason I like kind of like John Singleton so much, you know, even though he kind of did similar things, uh, what uh, Tyler Perry did, you know, when it comes to, you know, like Boys in the Hood and uh, Baby Boy, you know, all that other stuff as well, you know, to me, you know, he kind of built, you know, actors like Samuel L. Jackson, um, Dizel Washington, Wesley Snipes, and kind of build them in household names and everything. So once they got household names, they kind of separated of what, you know, of, um, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not talking about John Singleton. I'm talking about uh, Spike Lee. Spike Lee, I was talking about. Spike Lee had a big impact with um, um, th- um, Samuel L. Jackson, Wesley Snipes, and, um, and uh, Denzel Washington. And also Spike Lee was doing those movies as, as well, you know, with Do the Right Thing, um, Jungle Fever, and all other movies as well it did. But to me, you know, he kind of built these actors as the household names. And, you know, and now, you know, those actors are kind of legendary. With Tyler Perry, you know, you know, he hasn't really done that. Even though he has paid actors, he hasn't really built like a certain actor into a household name and and it kind of get away with Tyler Perry with what what Tyler Perry is doing. And I understand what Tyler Perry is like so the people that you want to keep, you know, you keep paying with and everything. But I just feel like sometimes it's like it's it's to me, it's too much negativity in a way that I don't like to see all the time. And I feel like, you know, maybe Todd Perry can switch up just a little bit and just stop doing the same movies all the time. Not particularly for the critics, because, you know, you know, if, like I said, it's you as a director, you, you don't have to care about the, the critics. You are a billionaire. But as far as the black community is involved, kind of change the concept and see more positivity into the black community. Because, you know, it's just for me, you know, I know he has viewers, but personally for me, it's like, you know, I, I just want to see a change see more positivity in the black community instead of what Tyler Perry is doing as we speak. Go ahead, Hakeem. You muted. Yeah, I'm going to put it to this point. The whole Medea catalog has been a disgrace. Men have never- I disagree. No, no, uh, uh, okay. I'm going to let you comment that then. Majority of men have never supported this. Only women. He identifies and catered to a women-based audience. My dad never let me watch a man in a dress to identify the representation of me. He feeds into the dysfunction that we steady trying to move away from. I'm putting the sisterhood on notice. You bought the movies. You went to the plays. He put out our dirty laundry. That's not art. That's comedy. And dysfunction. We cannot compare him to an Antoine Fuqua, to especially <laughs> a Spike Lee. One of his more classics is more better blues. Spike Lee have showed more family togetherness and less dysfunction in a small bit of amount of time with the small bit about the movies. This man has a catalog of movies where it showed nothing but dysfunction. You remember the last movie where Kelly Rowland was at and people was mad? Now you made a movie about a divorcee and then you put somebody who's divorced in the movie. She chose to play, she chose to play that role. She chose to play that role. Both of them chose to play that role, Hakeem. He it's, didn't force somebody to do anything. It, it's disrespectful. I didn't go watch it. Why would... in women... Women, you've been fighting so hard, fighting so hard to put a good image on y'all, to show that y'all good wives, to show that y'all been staying married, to show that y'all been keeping y'all kids. You let a man who leans more to identify for women, because real men here and ain't, ain't trying to speak for y'all. You let Tyler Perry spoke for y'all. Now we feeling the backlash. So I'm asking you, Are you going to hold Tyler Perry for him promoting and holding your image accountable? I disagree. I disagree because at the same time, Tyler Perry, he came into the game where black men been wearing dresses. You have Martin Lawrence wearing dresses. Yeah, Eddie Murphy went. Not Eddie Murphy. I'm not. I'll take that back. Eddie Murphy did not wear no dress. I don't think I ever saw. Yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he he did. You had all these great. You had all these great actors wearing dress. The only one I never seen wear dress. 
You're right, it's Denzel Washington. I've never seen Denzel well dressed. But majority of all these black men that we call quote unquote great, especially Martin Lawrence. How can you can't tell me number one Martin Lawrence? I have I have watched Martin Lawrence, but I've and never you seen, know most you I've know most of the stuff he wrote, that right? Dress watching. I've never supported that dress watching. So when he was Shanae, so when he was Shanae, you never watched Martin when he was Shanae. I, I when watched he, it. When, that- uh-huh. Never supported it. Never supported it. Oh, but you never supported it, but you still watch it. That's still considered yeah. support. That you know was, that, right? It's a whole show. It's a whole show. No support? No. You're going to just say, I'm not watching more anymore. You betraying his sister uh, as your name. name. Everybody don't know Correct. That. We all watch, and now that we all watch Family Matter, which was a great show, Steve Urkel dressed up in the dress multiple times. After his dad said, I don't want my child dressing up in the dress when he was murder Urkel. So the, I would say, we got to stop playing these narratives and start playing these games. It is what it is. Tyler Perry to me is one of the great. I look up to Tyler Perry. It's one of the one of the best directors of all time. Now, when it comes to the aspect of the critics, some of the stuff the critics saying is true. His movie always the same. I don't disagree with that. His movies always because I'm a big heavy Tyler Perry fan. His movies always the same. It's always the same consistency of a dysfunctional family. But in the black community, there is a lot of dysfunctional families. You got women cheating on their boyfriend. You got wives cheating on their husband. Husband cheating on their wife. Children don't even know who the baby father is. Hakeem, it goes on every day, even on YouTube, even on the black YouTube spaces. Dysfunction. There is no functioning going on. Do you see our counterparts promoting those kind of movies? Are they making those kind of movies at a large scale? Some of them are. Some of them are. Show me. I haven't seen one yet. I can't. I can Show me. I haven't I, seen one yet. I can't. Okay, prime example. You have Romeo and Juliet, which is a white movie and one of my favorite movies with Leonardo DiCaprio. That was dysfunctional. Yeah, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. That was. <laughs> Thank you. You <laughs> laughing? But you got a white no, no, no. That was run, 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 You had run, you had Titanic. No, that was dysfunctional movie. That was Shakespeare. Okay, these what about are, Titanic? These are, these what about are, Titanic? These Titanic. Work, these are works of art. They're not showing dysfunction. Oh, what about Titanic? It's dysfunctional. The, ma- no, the no, woman no, was cheating on her husband with a guy that was a bump that on, a, on the bottom of, floor. That was the work of art. It wasn't race based. <laughs> it was a. It wasn't race based. It was a movie, and it was. A, yeah. Look, what's gotta give me you name? Look, just hear me out. Give you name. Trust me. I'm um, shout, mm-hmm. um, shout out to um shout out to for being in the building. But what shout I'm saying is, team. I do agree with the the critics when it comes to Tyler Perry film. Tyler Perry did get emotional. No, he's not emotional, but he's very passionate about what he do mm. and his art. But at the same time, critics, there are great critics out there. Not all of them are negative. There are great critics that tell you, hey, Tyler Perry, it's time for you to go a different route. Now, I did see Divorce in Black. I love the ending because finally it was some, a type of ending that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Because most of the time in the ending, someone, I'm not going to speak on the ending, Someone else always end up in the whole situation, or the person end up with the other person. It always, but the way it ended, I think that's great, and I think he needs to continue to change his route, do what he's doing, and people are being healed from his, being healed from his um from his movies. People do watch his movies, say, "Man, I love that Tyler Perry movie. It touched my life because I kind of could relate to it." So, I can't we could, I can't enjoy we could agree to disagree, but I'm just being yeah. honest. It, it, when it comes to the black community, it's a lot of dysfunctional. You guys can see it in the black sector. Right now on YouTube, you. people, you can see it right now on YouTube right now. You just flip your channel, go on somebody's channel. You'll see black people say, F that, F you, F your kids, F your mama. F. Come on, we see that I, every day. We live in the hood. It's, it's, it's entertaining. Is it? But I don't follow you find it's entertaining. Okay, what about Zoo, What about Zoo's Network? Zoo's I've Network watched, was a prime example it. of the ghetto list no, if you were still watching it. Never watched none. I've actually, I never, I never I've actually signed a. I actually started a boycott <laughs> to boycott <laughs> Zeus Network. Hey, you believe that? I gave it Kevin. He Kevin's on you as he no, no. But Tyler Perry, right? Stand, stand for what you stand on. But man, keep in mind, Jordan Hakeem, he made billions of dollars off of it. Exactly. exactly. It's working for him. Off our, off our dysfunction. I can't. Why not? Hakeem, I do the same thing that. too. I'll rep Go ahead. Hakeem. I agree with Ronnie on this. Even though it's part of our dysfunction, at least it's, a, it's, it's coming from a black man who's, who's living out of dysfunction, except for another race is getting money for our dysfunction. I, I'll give you that. Hey, Jordan, at least you, have, you see just hit me out comment. Go ahead. Go he ahead. Said, I can read it. Adam Sandler made a string of embarrassing movies before getting back to the good ones. Yes, but the movies he made was not about... It was it was funny movies. It was and not was about this. Yeah. And he's Jewish, too. 
He's Jewish. So he was just making fun. He wasn't exposing this function. We go, we go to the degradation of domestic violence, physical abuse, people catching diseases. These are all in the man movies. Cheating. You but you, have you never seen the movie Butterfly Effect? There's so many different movies. Look, look, Listen, those are Butterfly movies I can't, not movie. funny. Look, but you that, those? Never, that, that was a gangster movie. I cried in that movie. I cried in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but it was but it was dysfunctional. What, oh, what about what about um Dude's Where's My Car with uh Ashton Kutcher in there? That, that thank you. Classic. That was a, a classic. It, it, it's a classic, I, but that was it's a classic. Listen, Basketball Diaries was a good one. It was showing the negative effects of drug abuse. These are works of art. I got one. I got Hang, one hangover. I got hangover. One, I, got one, I got one last movie. Go and ahead. This movie, and this movie that was like a documentary. What about Project X? Project that, X. I didn't see that one. You know I what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I did. Uh, about how, the, yes. About how, about how the kid, you know, the, the parents went away, and they, you know, they started having a big, the, one of the biggest parties in Southern California and everything. A whole lot of drugs, dancing, party, a lot of music in the suburbs and everything. Home, but the, but the, 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 what the, the function goes around in the sub in the suburban areas? Um, there's I, a lot of the function. There's I a lot of the function. function in the suburban areas now. It's just not being. It's just not being told. They, they, it's in the hush hush. And we sit down. <laughs> he said, he said, what do you think about the requiem for a dream? Who played in that movie? I don't know. I never seen that movie. Who's who's in um, who's, who's the actor? Who's the actor or actress in the movie? That's a good question. You know, just him, y'all. They got you know. They be watching film. They be having movie day. But no, I know. Also, just look. I don't see. I don't know. You see, Muhammad Curry. So he said. So we have to wear a dress to make billions billions of black men in America stand on. No, business, I'm not stand saying that business. you don't. I'm not saying Stand that because Denzel business. never wore the dress, and yeah, Denzel never wore the dress. On um, what kind of words? Just, what's his name? Um, but they're not billionaires. No, Dave but Dave Chappelle, Chappelle never wore the dress. dress. Dave Chappelle never the, wore the dress, and he's a he's man one there. Of greatest, one of the greatest comedians of all time. Um, I don't remember him ever wearing a dress. Who? Dave Chappelle. He never did. Never did. Never did. But he's not one. a billionaire. But he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. No, no, no. We y'all talking about a billionaire? The billionaires are wearing dresses. That are black. I don't have. I don't have no. Well, Michael Jordan never wanted, wanted, never, Michael Jordan never wanted to dress. But he was a degenerate gambler. He was a. He was a heavy. He was a heavy to gamble. He was heavy he was a gambler. Degenerate gambler. You know what I mean? A lot of billionaires. Oh, he's giving out the that? name. Yes, him here. No, Michael Jordan was a heavy gambler. He was a yeah. heavy gambler. Yeah. He was a heavy. They they say they had to ban him one time yeah. from the casino. Yeah, yeah. Being but, a degenerate gambler is just as well as uh, wearing a dress. In my so, opinion, I don't know about but that. But I can because that's like, well, I can address more of an if, 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 if more of an image thing. I'll I'll yeah. say that gambling that's more of a mental thing. I'll I'll, I'll keep that separate. I'm I'm Sandler. Do not suck, Muhammad. I disagree with that. He, I think he's I think he's up there. He, he he's a great writer. He's a great, he mostly write all his films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I agree with you. I think his his humor is not for everybody. 